You're a senior in high school and all you can think about is the next step. The next step everyone is talking about. The step if they want to know if they got into their dream college or not. But then reality hits you. You're about to be a full-time college student, having to work a part-time job, pay for groceries, pay for cell phone bills, and pay for car payments, and anything else you need. But on top of all of that, you also have to pay for student loans and the dorm you might live in. Today I'm going to be talking about why I think that college should be free, and here are the four main points I'm going to go over. The boosted economy that should be gained from college, free college, the increase in equality that free college would provide, uh, free college and how it will allow students to focus on their studies, and last but not least, how students have, might have more freedom, choose the major if they enjoy, if college is fully funded. Some might argue that college is a way for students to learn how to budget and save their money. And yes, I do agree that college is a way for students to learn how to save and budget their money, but the inequality of opportunity that funding college poses for the limited finances suggests that they need to eliminate the college cost burden for all people. Did you know that the average cost per year for a student is $31,712? That it takes years for students to dig out of student loans and try to get back into being financially stable. But like I said previously, you still have to work on those part-time jobs, paying for groceries, paying for cell phone bills, and the car payments that you have. That can cause stress on students. And that stress on students May, might, might make them not want to do college or drop out altogether. But if you didn't have to pay thousands of dollars to go to school, you could fast track your ability to earn, save, and spend. This helps boost our economy, economy with increase of consumer spending, there's, and there's more opportunity for employment. As I move into my next topic, we're going to talk about increase inequality. If we increase the inequality in college students, that could help low-income students and working adults. Having burden, burden, financial burden is the reason why researchers have said that that's why most people drop out of college because they can't afford it. Although people that are more fortunate and have money, they don't have to worry about the debt that college will provide for them. As I move on to my next topic, we're going to be talking about focus in the classroom. Students can't focus in the classroom because they're worried about the debt that they have to pay for the class that they're in at the moment. Although we have things like financial aid, grants, and loans, that can cause stress on students because that doesn't pay for all of their tuition. Now, think about the majors that you might want to be in. As a senior, you have to think about what you want to be, and that could put a lot of stress on students because you're not sure, you haven't experienced college yet. So people are often left wondering what they're gonna be. And parents are influencing students because they know that the faster they pick their major, the faster that they can get out of student debt. So parents influence students to pick the most practical majors so that they can get out of debt quicker. But if you choose a major that you don't like, that could, you could experience burnout and unhappiness in the career that you chose. So as I recap what I talked about today, I talked about it boosts our economy, how it increases equality, how it helps us focus on our studies, and how students have, might have more opportunity or more freedom to choose what, they, what major they enjoy. Thank you.